Very happy to be joined now by Brown's Pro Bowl cornerback, Denzel Ward. Denzel, how you doing? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again, obviously. What was your first offseason in the NFL like? It was really good. Uh, I was actually happy just to get a little break and enjoy the time off because it was a long road with uh, coming from college and pro day and combine and the whole season. So well, I definitely enjoyed the season, but glad to have the time to decompress and relax. Did you go anywhere fun? Uh, I trained in Miami, so I was in Miami uh, most of the time. Okay. You look big, by the way. You look yeah, bigger. Been, you put I've on been, some weight? Yeah, I've been putting on some weight. Yeah, what were you doing? Uh, just lifting, lifting and eating food, eating a lot of food and <laughs> working out. What was your favorite thing to eat in this portion where you're trying to add some mass? Uh, really, it was more healthy food, so it wasn't, it didn't always taste the best, so it wasn't really. You never had like a rock cheat day where he eats like 38, you know, pancakes and no, was, five pizzas? Yeah, I was eating like multi-grain pancakes and stuff like <laughs> just to put weight on me, a lot of protein shakes. A lot of, I used to, so when I was in high school, mm. my doctor said I had the metabolism of a hummingbird. I used to take those like weight gainer shakes. Couldn't gain weight. Right. All I could do is eat. Sometimes it's tough. You got for Definitely. you have that certain body type, so you have to kind of work really to put weight on. Exactly. Yeah, but at least it's probably fun. No, yeah, it's fun. It's always fun eating food. So. Do you feel do you feel better and stronger and more equipped? Was that something that was really a point of emphasis for you this off season? Yeah, that was definitely a point because uh, throughout the whole season I was kind of losing weight, just hard to maintain my weight throughout the season and eating and working out consistently. So uh, that was definitely an emphasis again, my weight back up and strength for the season. What's it like now being back? Obviously, a lot's changed since the season ended. Freddie Kitchens now the head coach. We know a lot of talent has been added into this football team, a lot of it on the defensive side of the ball. A guy named Odell Beckham Jr. on the offensive side. The draft picks are here now. Kind of what's this offseason in terms of, you know, sitting back saying, wow, look at what's happened with the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, it's been fun, really. It's just been trying to learn a new playbook and talking to the new coaches and just learning all the guys. A lot of new guys came here, learn those guys. We bought a uh, be with the rookies coming in soon next week, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that and uh, just the camaraderie and everyone's looking forward to the season. What's the what's the biggest difference for you in the Steve Wilkes defense, or at least as you understand it in the early portions, compared to what you did last year for Greg, if anything? Um, well, we're we're still getting a whole lot of playbook now, but uh, just probably some new coverages. Like last year, I think we were more so man to man. We play a lot of man to man. Now we're playing a little bit more zone. It seems as, but uh, we're also going to still play man to man, but a little different coverages. What's kind of your impressions of Steve Wilkes? Because I'm sure from a demeanor standpoint, yeah. he seems quite different as well. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I like Coach Wilkes so far. You guys kind of uh, similar. You guys yeah, have a little yeah. more of a similar approach. Yeah, so I like Coach Wilkes. Um, he's teaching me a lot uh, out on the film and in the classroom. So we just see as time goes on. Has it been nice to have the continuity with Dwayne Walker staying with you guys in the secondary? Yeah, I'm definitely happy they kept Dwayne Walker. That's my guy just coming in. He was my position coach coming in. So I appreciate Dwayne Walker. We have a lot of talks uh, about life and football. So He's a very good guy. He's a guy that we've loved every time we've gotten to speak with. And I think it's good for you, especially because your room was really remade in one year. It was the kind of you guys were all came in together. Definitely. Yeah. So when you think about kind of this off season and now a season with expectations, are you more comfortable in that role? Because I imagine at Ohio State every year it was, we should be going to the, the playoff and we should be competing for a national championship. Is that something you're more comfortable with now that people are expecting, hey, this is a team that should go out and win? Yeah, like you said, I am more comfortable with that. Being at Ohio State, the expectations was always high for us, winning championships or just competing and winning every game. But we try not to listen to a lot of the noise, really, and just kind of keep everything in-house and – uh, Got to focus every day, learn a playbook, work hard on practice, and then everything else will take care of itself. So. so phase three, the OTAs start in about a week, and that'll be really the first time you guys get to go out there and mix it up with this offense that has added a lot of talent. It is a very talented group on offense, and the receiving core especially with Odell coming in. Has the smack talk already started? Because I know training camp is going to be – Bananas. Yeah, not not yet. Actually, the their position coach he be talking the most trash out of all of them so far. But, really? Yeah, but not yet with the players. It hasn't started yet. But I'm sure it was gonna pick up. Are you looking forward to that? Getting an opportunity? You know, you got to go against Jarvis last year, and now you're gonna go against a guy who is also extremely talented, but very different in Odell Beckham. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, just seeing what he brings to the game, and uh, I know him and Jarvis are definitely gonna get me ready for the game and the season, just uh, technique wise and going up against them every day. I don't know if you saw the pictures of Odell from uh, the Met Gala 
and his GQ interview. Did you see those? I haven't seen them yet. Okay, well then I was going to ask you what you thought of his outfit. Uh, so okay. check it out. Okay. And then you'll let me know. You'll let me know down the road what you thought of his getup. It was, it was interesting, is okay. what I would say. Very fashion forward for Mr. Beckham. All right. So as you think about coming into the league last year as a rookie with big expectations, you go to the Pro Bowl. Does that make you feel like you can be somebody who can offer advice to Greedy Williams, who comes in now, second round pick out of LSU, very productive in college, and probably comes in with some expectations? Yeah, I definitely feel I'm a guy that could offer some advice, but I'm still learning myself uh, being in one year. But he's definitely somebody that I want to kind of take under my wing and just teach him what I learned throughout my first year being in the NFL and everything. So I'm looking forward to greedy game here. What's the biggest thing that you did learn in your first year in the NFL in terms of the NFL game versus college? Uh, really, that is it's the same game that we've been playing since little kids. Like coming in and high school and college and looking at the NFL, you just see guys, you think guys are unstoppable and stuff like that. And cause the media hypes them up and everything, but I mean, they're human at the end of the day. So everyone, anyone could be beaten on any given day. So just having the confidence that you go out there and play with anybody. Did you notice how much longer the season was? Yes. Def- yeah, definitely. definitely. Is that probably the biggest adjustment? Yeah. Like I said, and that was more so with just coming off of college and pro day and all uh, the combine and everything, it made it longer than I was, what I feel is going to be, but I definitely felt the length of the season. Yeah, because I would have, you know, you go from 10 and then you get a big break before your bowl game, and you guys always were playing in the big bowl games. They just straight on through exactly. four months, football, football, football. Well, we appreciate the time. Before I let you go, though, I want to ask you about your charity, Make Them Know Your Name. I know you had a draft party. Yep. It was a big success. And what is that charity, just so people can, can know about it, and they can follow it on Twitter at, at M-T-K-Y-N underscore. Yeah, M-T-K-Y-N uh, spells out, make them know your name. It's just a foundation my family and I brought together in honor of my dad who passed away. Uh, just shining light on heart awareness and uh, bringing a lot of light to their information, like how to use a defibrillator and things of that nature. Which is great because I think it's something that every a lot of people in their lives have to encounter or deal with and being prepared could maybe make the difference between saving a life. Definitely. Well, Denzel, thank you so much for the time. Congratulations on a great rookie year. We're pumped to see you guys get back at it this year in uh, year number two. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.